welcome back to part two of HFM Absurd Revisits Kingdom Come Deliverance. Alright, picking up right where we left off. Delivering some nails to Teresa. Alright, good dive in. Here you go, Teresa. Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering, will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Mm. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. I think sort of Theresa's crazy. got a crush. And she's kind of cute too. Anyway, I think for like an animated chick. Seriously, dude. Such a teenager. Fine, right, Sinful. Oh. Now, stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial. We've all fallen short, though. All right, here we go. The sword. Nice. Let's time I check though, isn't hitting a sword on wood supposed to dull it? You mess with the blade? Fine job. Maybe that's only big trees. Nothing less from such a renowned swordsman. Those days are gone. Radzig. You haven't lost your skill, friend. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a common? Try it. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. I'll I'll try the sword. Dad does not like that though. You still have a lot to learn. Yeah, clearly. Ask your father to show you how. Sucks with a sword. Life. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. Mm. But who knows what the future holds for each of us? More foreshadowing. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work. Very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Svan? True, Sir Radzik. <laughs> If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. Which hopefully we'll eventually hear. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. He certainly will. Hmm. Question is, will they be on battlefield? Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, says Svan. Have a safe journey to Saka. <laughs> the honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank mm. you for the hospitality. So he's leaving. And our swords... A uh, peculiar history. Our sword trainer is leaving. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Hmm. Will you teach me how to use it like Sir Radzik said? Nope. Why? It could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. Ouch. Talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. Not wrong about that. I want to end my days in scallets. Yeah. Beneath the linden tree, and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world. Meet new people. Meet them, or yeah. beat them. Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. Uh-oh. Something's happened. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Uh, 
attack. That's happened. That's a big army. You hardly need that many people to, to hit such a small town. That looks like Sigismund. I guess that's a second hand man. <sighs> Poor people of the town. Oh man. Listen carefully. Take the sword. Go into the house and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry. What about you? I'm gonna go get your mother. Your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You do what I say right now. Try to make sure his son survives no matter what. Take care of you. You well. So why does Razig owe you? For the sword or does he owe you for something else? Hurry, kiddo. Ouch. Quickly! We have to close the gates! Move! Come on, we're closing! Move them, people! Come on! We're come out on! Of time. Oh, Henry! Thank God! Get inside quick, we have to shut the gates! Keep running, people, come on! Mind this for me. Are you mad? You can't go back! Uh-oh. Get through the gates! Where's his dad and his mom? Ah, uh, there's that old man is. Pretty good with a sword, looks like. <sighs> it's not just some blacksmith, he has some training back in the day. Making work of these guys. Timing was off there a little bit, looked like. Of course, Hal has to look on at the chaos. Seriously, you're just gonna kill a defenseless woman? Oh, how many times do you have to stab her? Like, come on, people. Seriously? Savages. Just overkill. Uh oh. Now he sees me standing there with a the sword. Come on, Hal! You can still make it! Run! Can I? Or, I mean, they got on horseback, could have called me in like a millisecond, but okay. Get sending foot soldiers after me. Find a horse! Ride to town, Lurk! Tell them what's coming! Warn them! Seriously? Oh, the the path down there. Jump down from the wall and flee! Ah, great. Alright, here we go. Let's roll. There's Lord Radzig, looking on like, hmm, he's got my sword, that boy. I'd probably be pretty upset if some blacksmith son was run off my sword too. Terrible situation or not. <laughs> Alright, so let's sprint this bad boy out. You gotta make a break for it. Trust down the path here. Ride at Tallenberg. I think we gotta get the horse first, guys. Huh. It's like, ride at Tallenberg. Get a horse. Uh, I think the horse comes first. Alright. Uh, no. Wrong way. Man, the endurance on this guy wears out fast. Alright, here we go. Almost there, I think. Oh, no. 
woman in need of help, do we help her? Yeah, of course we do. Got their attention. Alright. Let's roll. Ha ha. Come on, Duke. Move. What the flip? There we go. Ha ha. Got away from Teresa and stole a horse. Alright. I escaped on a horse. Confiscated a horse? Yeah, I guess it was thievery. Which is a sin. But it's a video game. Alright, game saved. So apparently there's also some checkpoints. That's good to know. Oh, man. The viciousness. I wonder what the heck they're saying. Oh, man. Air to the leg. Come on. Now I got archers after me. This is going to be fun. Alright, we got to keep going. Uh, is he gonna show me my horse? Okay, there you go. Yeah. It's looking the wrong way. Alright, you gotta ride to Tallenberg. Ah, are you kidding me? This again? Come on. Hey. Oh boy. I mean, the riding actually feels pretty good, but dead gum. Left. Talmor gets to the left along the stream. Kind of makes it hard to get away here. You got to have so much endurance. Yeah. Just need to be bobbing and weaving. Just gotta keep going. Run, dude, get out of the road. Go! They'll kill you all. Keep us off well at. I gotta let up on the reins real fast. Seriously, I let off for like a couple seconds. Let my horse regain stamina. I get hit. That's messed up. Come on, get across the bridge. Come on now. Run for it. And they're a hardcore after me. These guys want me dead. I got lit up. My horse has to rebuild some stamina. Alright, here we go. Pick up pace again. Are we almost there? Oh, well, there we go, we did it. Woohoo! Ride, dude, ride. Do something. Help! Quickly, everyone, get your asses here. Hey, and loose. Here we go. Uh, they just perfectly aimed those over my head. Okay. Uh, I really don't know if that would have been possible, but okay. A little small town.
Someone give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tatars? Oh. Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. I, I don't know. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that hair out. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandages. Yeah, and good for me. I lost my whole family. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. As good as new. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Oh, I got some doggies. That's cool. Sir, this is a survivor from. I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalos is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. Do you think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. That's true. Anyway, you should always lean thank on God. You for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. Smart. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. Sir Robard. Okay. The loading screens are long. 
That is a little annoying. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. Fair enough. I heard about your father. They say he was a swordsmith who moved to the countryside to make horseshoes. I can't understand why he'd waste his talents, but I'm sure he had his reasons. He had a fine reputation. Great loss. That's some good respect there. All right. Ah, my lady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. She's a little young to be married to that old guy, ain't she? No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul, after everything he's been through? He must be as hungry as a bear, aren't you, young master? That's very kind of you to call me young master. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer valley. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly. Huh. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. All right. Sweet. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget. Save off those filthy boots before heading into bed. <laughs> Somebody doesn't like me too much. That's okay. Wow. Uh, you know it's important to eat in a game when you literally have two objectives to eat. Oh, hi. I can pick up more food. Alright. Alright. Alright, here we go. Food. Oh, crap. I just drank alcohol. That's exactly what my guy needed. Oh, yep. Yeah. Get a little dizzy. Alright, let's make our way out of here. Ah, mm. oh, the classic getting stuck oh, in doorways because. Oh wow, you can lose reputation for that? For real? That's messed up. I'm just trying to get out of a door. <laughs> they don't try to rush through doorways. Alright, sleep. Oh, what's that? Dude, I am clearly trying to get some sleep. Like, leave me alone. Let's try to sleep till morning. I have to eat again, though. Tell me I got one hour of sleep. Why am I getting woken up from one hour of sleep? That's just rude. <laughs> All right. All right. It's raining. <sighs> My dude can't sleep. Man, he ain't got no pillow. No wonder he can't sleep. Yes. Knock at the door. It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy. Did I? My lady. Uh, um. No, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. Hmm. 
Okay. Still suspicious. My lady. Thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. I was going to. But to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace. To let you know you're not alone. That's very nice of you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you. Is she hitting on my boy? I think she's hitting on him. Want you to feel at home. She married a woman though. Yeah, stay away I'm from not her. Worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. Alright, now we're going to get some dialogue choices. Sure, I'll tell the story. I'll, right, I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. I went to the tavern to buy ale for Father. I know it's a job for a groom, but I didn't mind. My girl Bianca worked there. I courted her a while and we agreed to meet in the evening. But our meeting was never to happen. Oh dear boy. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised father I'd help him with his work and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radziv. The sword was taking shape when Sir Radzik himself came to have a look at it. He praised father's work and said that with his smithing skills, he could easily make a living in Prague or Vienna. You don't say. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. The horde of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind, the armour glinted in the sunlight and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful. Got ourselves a little storyteller here. Did we actually see him kill Bianca? I didn't see that. Father told me to take shelter in the castle while he went to get mother. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund's butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one human after another. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armor, saw father and charged at him. He cut down my father without a thought. And then he turned on my mother. And he murdered her in cold blood. You poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. <laughs> you mean told it. I needed a horse to get to the safety of Talmberg and to warn you all. And with all that was happening... You thought of others like a good Christian. I mean, I was, I was kind of told to go. And I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of human savages who planned to violate her. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Like a valiant knight. I'll never forget the horror. I think how that could have been different if different choices would have been made earlier on. All right, here we go. That's terrible. How could something like that happen? Horrible things happen. God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That true about that. That's true. That's true. Those who do his bidding. 
those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors you went through, I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Ouch. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Pribislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's messed up. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old, and all of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Havel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Aww. So Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city. And, and now you're in the countryside and you got on. nothing to do. You're now bored. We're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Dude, she married a woman. Stop flirting. Had. Would it be true? But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. That's probably smart. Let you her go, man. To talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. All right, here we go. I'm back to sleep now. Having a little nightmare. Okay. Played his father. That voice kind of sounds familiar to me. Henry, wake up! Uh -oh. You don't want to miss this. What is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. All right. Here we go. 
go to the vitamins via the gateway stairs. All right, I can do that. Sweet, we got a game save. Take the torch from the table. Alright, so hold on the left of the D pad to do a torch. Tap it for a sword. Alright. We could hide out somewhere until it blows over. Listen up! <coughs> if you see his men in his army, prepare for the worst. But don't be daunted by their numbers. Heed my command. Here we go. All will end well. What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmud in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scarlet. Then who is it? The scouts Jivish sent to Scarlet to spy on Sigismund. Said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And so Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers. Including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that is <coughs> fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? All right, we will. Farewell. Oh! Who goes there? Lucifer and all his minions! Who else? Really? Sir, hey! It's Razik. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir, he is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <coughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slick throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Skalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you <laughs> donkey. tired of living? <laughs> Sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father. But getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were hovel of Baldic. Huh. That's got to pinned him away. Skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. 
And good luck to you and your people too. These are dark times. Move out! Talk to him again. What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes. Yours are key. Will you keep watch for the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? Really? I'd rather it was a request you answered yesterday. Of course I'll help. I have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid. And don't worry. I'll tell the men to relieve you later. I'll do it. Yay! I get to stand on the wall. I gotta go up here. There we go. Wandering around like a stray sheep. Must be your first watch, eh? I yep. don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. Wait three hours till morning. happening let's go let's go move it here we go another cutscene oh I'm beautiful it's happening Uh oh, there's Sigismund's army. See how the self-appointed king wins the love and respect of his loyal subjects. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. You may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. Chief. That's the bastard who led the attack at Scarlet and killed my parents. Don't be an idiot. He doesn't want to end up like them. I am Sir Mark Wart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markvard. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king. And here in Townberg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? 
Yesterday, His Majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, the Ratsik Kobila, who has been Bila. using the silver from the Scarlet's mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Fortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Scarlet's. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle where he has little chance of defense to another where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king then that Zeratsi Kobila is not a Tarnberg and that he has your loyalty? Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. Mm. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Mm -hmm. Those who have clean consciences and good will may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf mm. Wiedersehen. Look at that angry look in his eye. Uh... on the way and see what they do. Waved them off. My lord, you have my utmost admiration. Get on with you, Robard. <laughs> So Henry will survive another day. But there's our villain. Alright. Boom. Completed. Bury your loved ones in Skalix, talk to Sir Robard, get a horse. Again. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. This loading screen's taking a while. Alright guys, I believe we're going to call it there. Alright, so y'all have a great day and I'll see y'all in part three. <laughs> <laughs> ah!